it is mega shopping day at last. I have been prepping for this day for well over a week now, probably two weeks now. Um, there's just so much going into trying to shop enough for a family of seven to stay out of the grocery stores for at least a month. Hi, if you're new to my channel, my name is Sarah. Like I said, we are a family of seven and I am trying to keep us out of the grocery stores as much as possible during this pandemic. And um, I myself haven't been into a store since March 20th. It is April, oh, I don't even remember the date. <laughs> April 20, 21st, 22nd, I believe. Wednesday, April 22nd. If it's different, I'll put it down below. But, um, so I haven't been to the store myself in over a month. My husband has been out every once in a while, mostly to go to Home Depot. Um, so he has been out there and seen what's been going on. I haven't been out since masks are basically, um, more mandatory here in California. We live in Southern California. So, um, I have my car ready to go with ice chests back here. I don't know if you can see, there we go. There's an ice chest and there's more stuff. I actually took car seats out of the car and folded down seats in the car just because I am expecting to get a lot of stuff and I wanted to make sure I had plenty of room for it in the car. If you are interested in seeing what I did to prep for this trip, I will put a list or a playlist down below or some links to the videos. I did a like prep for the shopping trip type of video and then I also have an Aldi haul video where I kind of explain more at the beginning of that one um the groceries that we got over the last month um prior to that haul so if you're interested in either of those I will put those links down below so you can check them out but today I am trying to get groceries for us to stay out of the stores for four to five weeks so not until the end of May is what I'm hoping to get us through to we may have to do a trip in there at one point just to stock up on some fresh things and milk and stuff like that. But I'm trying to keep that mid-month one to like at least three weeks out is my hope. I don't know if we'll make it that long, but that's kind of my hope to get to three weeks out. And then at that point, just do a smaller haul like at Aldi, which is a smaller, um, there's not as many people that go to that one or to do a Walmart grocery pickup that's kind of my thought process so um but to do like where we get the majority of our stuff that is today and I'm hoping not to have to like go back to Costco at least um for four to five weeks okay so I'm a little nervous <laughs> it's been a little while in the last month I think I've only driven twice um and the last time was a week ago exactly because I had to take one of my kids into the doctor and before that it had been a couple weeks so it's a little um, nerve wracking. Like I'm afraid I'm not going to remember how to drive or like the rules of the road. And then I'm just trying to be as careful as possible with everything, cleaning it all down. I'm going to try to clean it before it even gets into the car. Um, so that when I get home, I can just take it out and then I'm going to show you everything that I got. And hopefully that part will be a little more streamlined once I get home, if I can do it all at my car, um, from the grocery cart, into the car it's getting cleaned uh, so yeah and that's where we're at right now I have four stores that I am trying to get to um, and that includes Stater Brothers which I don't know how familiar people are with Stater Brothers but that is a store down here in Southern California um, Costco Trader Joe's and Aldi so even though we just did an Aldi haul 11 days ago there were enough things that I can get there that I decided I'm going to go back there and get them, get more. So here we go. Um, I will not be taking you in the store with me. I do not want to have to disinfect my camera after every single time. And I really want to be able to focus on what I'm doing in each store. But I may come on after each store and kind of give you a little clip of my impressions from being in the stores after having not been in them for so long. Alrighty. So here I, I go to the first store and I remembered on the way I forgot to tell you a few things like the time I left my house a little before noon. It took me that long to get out this morning, partly because I was waiting till my baby, who is a little over three and a half months old, um, went down for her good nap of the day, which she hopefully will sleep three to four hours for my husband because he is working from home and has the other four kids as well, but they can handle themselves a lot 
fairly well because they're range from four and a half to 10 years old. So it's mostly the baby that needs help, um, but hopefully she'll sleep for a good chunk of the time that I'm gone. I wanted to pump some milk for him to have for her. And then also I almost completely forgot to eat. I do intermittent fasting. Um, so it's very easy for me to push off my first meal of the, the day until like pretty late, like around two o'clock in the afternoon is not a abnormal for me on, on some days that I'm just really busy but I knew that if I didn't eat before I went and did this that would not be a good a good thing I do have some snacks in the car though so I at least could use that if I needed to but I'm really glad I made the choice to eat before I left and I didn't actually forget forget if you're wondering why I have a beach blanket on behind me check out that prepping for the shopping video. I explain it in that. Um, but yeah, so it's a little before noon when I left. It's just afternoon now that I'm at Stay Your Brothers. I, I kind of want to have the timestamps just to see exactly how long this does take me because if this is something that is going to continue for a while, it would be good for me to know mentally what I am getting myself into. Uh, yeah, so I really wanted to chew some gum too. I was thinking, oh, I really want to get some gum in my mouth. I chew a lot less gum now that I'm intermittent fasting because um, there's just such a shorter period of time that I am uh, eating now each day and I don't want the chewing factor or the flavor to um, trigger anything to make it seem like I'm actually eating food during my fasting time. So I just don't eat, chew very much gum and I was like, oh, I could chew gum while I'm running around my errands and then I realized, no, I really can't because I'm going to be wearing a mask. So basically I could chew gum while I'm in the car between stores and that's it. So, oh well, it's not a big deal, but I am going to get my mask on, get all my protective stuff ready, my shopping list, all that, and then get in there. Okay, it is almost 1.10. That took me a lot longer to get through that store than I was hoping. So I do not shop at the store very often. It has been probably almost two years since the last time I went here. Because the main reason why I go to the store is because they have good prices on beef. And uh, last year when I was sick and very pregnant, I did not go and get any extra anything from anywhere and beef like made me extra sick. So I haven't shopped here in like almost two years, I think, because normally we go around summertime. That's when the prices are really good. Anyhow, since I'm not familiar with the store, it took me a long time to find things. I had to backtrack, which I hate doing. Um, and I was trying to be really careful to only touch the things that I was going to be buying and sometimes I couldn't because I needed to look and see what the nutritional information was or what was in it and ugh. they were fairly well stocked though. They did have toilet paper, they had um, but no like rubbing alcohol, hand sanitizer that I could find and my hands feel really gross from just putting so much hand sanitizer on them like ugh, I want to wash them and I have to go to the bathroom so badly and I really don't want to go in one of the stores and my next door is Costco which I could go there but I want to do returns first. I am not that far from my home. I think I'm actually just going to run home really fast, make sure no one touches me, go to the bathroom. Um, I don't know if I will get these groceries in the house and out of the car so they aren't sitting here for hours on end, which might be a good idea since I'm already going home. So I may just end up doing that and then head out again. Um, I just have to go to the bathroom so badly. Uh, let's see. I spent way more money than I wanted to at this store. That's one of the reasons why I don't like shopping at, at this place either is because just for other items, it's just, it's the prices are not good, but I'm trying to get a spy, you know, for like three weeks and not even have to go to Walmart. Walmart, I know would have better prices on th some of these things. If you notice sweat, it is hot in my car right now. Um, so it was really hard for me to swallow it and just like pay the prices for some of this stuff it's oh it hurts me so badly but they had some items and Walmart at least when I keep putting things in my shopping cart you know just adding things adding things adding things so that when I do go to check out I already have things in my shopping cart that I know we need and I don't have to go think around you know think up oh what was it that we're out of um, but then every once in a while I'll go back and check and see if things are in stock and I'll check the three closest Walmarts to me that do grocery pickup and some of them will have some of the items and not none of the others and you know each one will have different inventory and there's some things that none of them have so it's kind of like if you see it at a store you kind of need to buy it because you just don't know if you're gonna see it at a different store even if it costs more than what you want to pay for it at least that's 
kind of my mentality with it. I'm just like, oh, I was hoping to like really do good on budgeting. Granted, for the month of April, we haven't really spent much money. So in a way, I kind of have April and May's budgets to work with in a way. So I just have to think of it that way. I'm buying a lot, but it's going to last us a long time too. So, okay, I really need to go to the bathroom. I'm going to do that. Maybe I'll film this haul for you guys next and then get going to Costco. I am home now. And so here is the cold and frozen part of the haul. I'll go over it real fast. Got a bunch of asparagus, some cilantro, some red cabbage. And I did clean all of this off at my car, um, which made me probably look like a crazy person at the car, but I did it anyways. A coleslaw mix. I'm going to mix this cabbage in with that. It was either buying a mix already done like this or buying two heads of red cabbage and green cabbage and I thought this would take up a lot less room in our fridge right now while I'm trying to cram it full of stuff. So that's why I went with this option. Um, and the use by dates are the end of this month and the beginning of next month so we have a little bit of time on them. And I will be making a homemade dressing to make the coleslaw and this is going to go on a pulled pork sandwiches, barbecue pulled pork sandwiches. Got some frozen vegetables to restock on just so that at the end of the three weeks or whenever it is, baby didn't stay asleep very long while I was gone. Um, we will still have vegetables if we're out of fresh, so I got some green beans, mixed veggies, and two of the crinkle cut carrots. Um, some mashed cauliflower, the sour cream and chive version, and roasted garlic. My husband is enjoying these. Um, instead of having like rice or something like that. So I bought this for him. This salad dressing looked interesting so I picked that up just to have something else but it does have to be cold so that's the only negative about it. Back here saw this and was excited. This is a little treat for me for Mother's Day. They're melting chocolates so we are going to get fresh strawberries and dip them in chocolate so I can have chocolate chip dipped strawberries for Mother's Day. Got a little bag of Baby Bell cheese. Way more money than I wanted to spend on these, but we're very low on them, and this is something that my husband likes to snack on at night, so I just wanted to get a few more. This is what, at the last minute, I thought of. I used to do this years ago when Costco carried frozen orange juice con concentrate. That's how I used to buy orange juice and just make it myself with water, and then they stopped carrying that many years ago. So I got out of the habit of having this on hand, but I figured... That's one of the things that we are picking up at the same time we're picking up milk and eggs is more orange juice. So I thought if I had this on hand, that would at least extend the life of having orange juice and maybe not even having to have to buy so much um, fresh orange juice for the refrigerator since that space is limited. So I'm going to try that out and see if that helps us out. Then I got these sausage links. These are ones that... I don't normally buy this variety. I mean, it's the Hillshire Farm, but they didn't have the type that I normally buy for the kids. And this is what I'm planning on being a lunch for each week. We'll use one of these each week. So I bought five in case we can make all this last for five weeks instead of just four. They had one box of chicken taquitos, and this is the type my kids like. They do not like the beef ones. And Walmart has been out of these for forever, and Costco stopped carrying them. So I found the one box there, so at least we'll have these for a couple of lunch meals for a few weeks. And then the real main reason why I went there was for this. It was either for a London broil or tri-tip, and I found London broil very easily. It was $3.99 a pound. $2.99 a pound is an even better price, but this is what I was going for, so I picked up two of them. And they were around two and a half pounds each. Um, so that will be, I will cook them both at the same time for the same meal. And if there are leftovers, it'll either be for our lunch or another dinner. Then this is what was non-perishable that I picked up. So just some things we were out of. Again, just picking things up instead of waiting until my Walmart order so I can have them. I was all out of wax paper. This is just something that we need to have on hand with the amount of girls we have in the house. Um, I've been having issues with my scalp being super dry lately, so I wanted to pick this up and see if that helped. Got some peanut butter, because like I said in that prep video, we have like this much left in a really small container, smaller than this. Um, so I just like to have one shelf stable um, peanut butter on hand in our pantry, so that in case the ones that I buy at Costco were out of that, we still have a little bit of peanut butter left. 
Got some ranch style beans. This is for a recipe called Fiesta Salad. I normally buy a smaller can of this, but this is really tasty, so I thought let's try it with the larger one, and that's gonna be with um, ground turkey. So that should be good. I don't have any type of like canola oil, canola oil or vegetable oil. I basically have olive oil and avocado oil, and I want to make some um, homemade donuts, and so I bought this to be able to do that. Then let's go right here. This is for our end of the year school party. We're gonna do an ice cream party, make homemade ice cream. So I picked up some sugar cones and some waffle cones, and then some marshmallow cream, some um, sprinkles. These are actually my favorite sprinkles to get on top of um, cupcakes and whatnot. And we're, I think, out of those. And then some really good hot fudge. This is my mother-in-law's favorite variety, so I picked that up as well because it is very tasty. This humongous bottle of Burgundy wine is for um, a pork tenderloin uh, recipe that I'm going to do. I have never bought this type of wine, but someone in the comments said specifically to buy a Burgundy wine because that's what makes it so good. And this was the only bottle that I could find in the wine section. And it was relatively cheap for this ginormous thing. It was like $4.99 or something like that. Um, so hopefully that's worth it. I couldn't find any other variety, so that's what we got. This is my oldest daughter's favorite tea, and Walmart has been out of this lately, so I picked up a box to help get us by on that. I have heard about this, Mrs. Let's, let's focus here, camera. Mrs. Dash um, salt-free seasoning. I'm not don't have any specific plans to use it yet, but um, I've heard that it's good, so I would like them to try it out. And then these. The celery seed is for the coleslaw dressing. So that was everything from Stater Brothers, and I will put the total down below for you. Okay, it is right around 2 o'clock. I am sitting in the Costco parking lot now, so it took a little bit of time to use the restroom, film that grocery haul for you guys, and put it all away. And I also heated up a bottle for my baby, because as you heard in that, she had woken up the kids apparently somehow woke her up from her what was supposed to be her really long nap so my husband was putting her back down for a nap as I was leaving um yeah so one thing I didn't say was it irritated me in Stater Brothers how many people were not following the guidelines of wearing a mask and staying away from each other like I know the mask is not going to protect me but it's going to protect you and all the workers that are there that are, you know, providing a service for us so that we can do our regular grocery shopping like this. And it just bothers me so much that you're not, they, not you, they are not taking, you know, that just extra step to do something to help protect the people around them from yourself. Even if you feel fine, you don't know that you could have had it or you have it. My husband found out that one of his co-workers who sat directly across from him, his workstation, was facing my husband's workstation. Like, they were right there. And he and his wife and daughter got tested to see if they had antibodies, to see if they had had, um, had, had COVID-19 at all. He and his wife both tested positive. And he was sitting directly across from my husband when they were working together when they were still in the office. And they had zero symptoms, both of them. Absolutely no symptoms, they said. So you just don't know. You don't know. So the least you could do, I feel like, is be considerate of other people and put a mask on. Like, it just doesn't seem like it's that hard to just do that. So it was a little irritating. And I'm noticing people here at Costco are not wearing a mask either. So, mm. okay. That's just my little rant. Hopefully, this is my biggest biggest, you know, shopping that I'm doing today is here. I really don't think it's all going to fit into one cart. So I'm a little nervous about that. Um, I was, I'm trying to think, do I just automatically start taking two carts with me throughout the whole place? Or do I fill up one as much as I can? And then if I need to go get a second one and then deal with it, then I think that's what I'll do. Cause I really don't want to drag two carts around the whole place if I don't absolutely need to. So wish me luck <laughs> that this goes well. Um, it seems like there's a decent amount of people here too. The, the parking lot's pretty average. So need to get this done before all these stores start closing and I need to make dinner. But um, 
yeah, that's where we're at right now. <sighs> well, as much as I wanted and planned for this to work out today to go to four different stores and get in a month's worth of grocery shopping, four to five weeks worth, I don't know that it's even feasible. I just finished Costco and it is 426. So that took me almost two and a half hours to shop, come to my car, clean everything off and load it up. And my car is packed. I mean, it's not, obviously it's not all the way up, um, but I don't know how I would fit more groceries in. I mean, I have all my grocery bags for the most part still. I could definitely do them there. I am tired though. I am so tired. I know, and it's getting, it's hot. Um, when I was in the car earlier, earlier it was 79 degrees. It feels hotter than, like, than that, especially in the car. I don't know that it's worth it to go to the other stores. The only thing is that Costco was out of a few things that I really wanted. They weren't out of a lot that I had on my list, but like they didn't have any plain yogurt that I always get here every time I go. And so I could get that either at Trader Joe's or Aldi. And I really don't want to go to another store. I want to take this home, unload it, and show it to you guys, but then put it all away. And then I need to make dinner and clean myself, well, clean myself up first, then make dinner. I have a baby to take care of. I just, and stores close early, too. And I'm starting to need to go to the bathroom again. And I'm thirsty, and I'm trying not to drink because I don't want to have to go to the bathroom. And I'm feeling like just drained right now, really drained. Like I just need to rest. And I know I'm complaining a lot right now and I should instead just be very thankful that I am able to do this much grocery shopping at once and be able to buy all these groceries. And I definitely am, but it's also a little frustrating when you plan so much for something and then it doesn't go how you wanted it to. So, um, I may call my husband and ask him what he thinks, but, or, and I may just look at my list again and see what do I really, really need. And then maybe just try to make do with what we have. Cause I do have a lot, but make do with what we have for two to three weeks and then hit Trader Joe's and Aldi then, or if I go to Aldi now, then hit Trader Joe's then. I don't know. Uh, I wish it was a, easy answer, but it's not for me for some reason. Well, I'll keep you updated once I decide what I do. I am home. It is almost 6.10. I have cleaned up while I showered. My husband unloaded the car. I did end up going to Aldi, and that is what's down here. This is round one, if you will, of the Costco haul. I still have a bunch of stuff in the ice chest. You're going to hear my kids in the background. But let's try to get through this as quickly as possible because I need to get put it all away and make dinner. Okay, so we're gonna start over here. I kind of organized it. So I have I have hamburger buns, two sets of potato bread, so that's four loaves. Then two loaves of this multi-grain bread. This is my favorite bread, mine and my husband's and one of my daughter's, and this was the last set they had left there. So I'm so glad I got it. So to supplement that, because I was planning to get two, I also got some more Dave's Killer Bread, which is pretty good, but I just like that one more. This is kind of in a random spot, but we were all out of canned green beans, and I like having those on hand just in case we need a vegetable quickly. I got four of these, well, two sets, four containers of this organic creamy peanut butter. Um, we were all out, like I said, pretty much, and we are going through a lot of it lately, so I wanna make sure we have plenty on hand. I got some more almond butter so we can make some more sweet potato brownies, because um, what we had left would not be enough for the batch. Some more Parmesan cheese. Remember, I cleaned all this stuff at the car, so it's actually all clean now, which is why my husband could actually help with it really easily while I took my shower. And you hear my baby in the background because she apparently did not nap well today. Um, got some more salt. I was all out of that. All right, let's go to the treat section, apparently. Oh, wait, I got my kids some vitamins. Uh, this was on sale with an asterisk, so it was on its way out, and I bought one of these 
I can't even tell you how many years ago, like many, many, many years ago. And we just got through the end of it and everything was sticking together and the kids were begging for more. We're using this as a reward system. If you watch any of my homeschooling videos, you'll know we use a tally mark system and they can use two tally marks that they earn to get one jelly bean. Along with that reward system, we also use chocolate chips, one chocolate chip for one tally mark. And I got two of these because I want to be able to make cookies and not just give these out as rewards. We use these, we call them chocolate bar balls. They are dark chocolate um, with these flavors on the inside. We use these when we make popcorn and we give everyone like eight of these to eat with their popcorn. So that's a fun treat. This was also on its way out and I thought that would just be fun to have for on the occasion over the next few months. All right, let's get to dairy. Back here, some mozzarella cheese. I did still have mozzarella cheese from Aldi in the fridge, but it did not melt very well on our pizza when I made it, and that was one request my husband had was to get cheese that melted better. So I picked up more there. This is a really yummy blend, this Parmesan Romano blend, and I use this on the pizza as well, so I do mostly mozzarella and then sprinkle this on top. So I'm planning to have pizza two times this month. I got three bags, and I think there's one, two, three, four, oh, there's six avocados in each of these. One, two, three, four, five, six, yes, six. So I got 18 avocados. They are not the greatest price there, but I just didn't know where else I was going and if there would be good prices on avocados there or not. And there happened to be at Aldi, but none of the ones I got were ripe and none of the ones at Aldi were ripe. And I'll show you those in a minute. Uh, oh wait, I was doing dairy, that's right. Okay, here's some salted butter. Uh, I tried to buy two of these. I didn't realize there was a limit on it, so they told me that at the register, and that's okay. Um, I will pick up more later. So that was, I tried to pay attention to the limits very closely, but that was when I guess that I skipped. I got some more American cheese, because I'm going to be doing more grilled cheese sandwiches, and I think this was a better price at Aldi. This was $10 for this thing, and I can't remember if you get their brand like a good stack of it it was only like a dollar something i want to say i could be wrong but it looked a lot cheaper at aldi so i might pick it up there next time i got another block of sharp cheddar cheese we just like to have this on hand for snacking to grate it if i don't have any grated cheese and we do meat and cheese and crackers for a lunch then i got oh and it's a two pound block then i got two two pound blocks of monterey jack cheese Ooh, one of them is going to be used for um, chicken and white bean enchiladas, and then the other one is going to be made, used for a breakfast. It's an egg souffle breakfast, so that's what those are getting used for. Okay, I think that was all the dairy. Look at all the bananas. We have been out of bananas for a while, so three of them are organic, three pounds. The other three are regular, three-pound bunches, and I did it that way because the organic ones were more ripe. The other ones were more green, so that way they'll last longer. Got some celery. A couple recipes called for this, and I have one child in particular that enjoys eating celery. So that was good. I got some baby carrots. We haven't had these for a while, and those are nice and easy to snack on. Some French green beans. This is a couple of meals worth for us, and we enjoy these. I got some orange. Uh, organic zucchini and yellow squash. Um, this is definitely a female for us. Got some artisan lettuce. I prefer this over romaine. It just fits in my refrigerator a lot better. So I started buying it um, just because it fits better. And down here a big, I think it's like a six and a half pound bag of organic carrots. I bought one of these last month and we did go through it all, I wasn't sure, and I actually ended up just keeping it in our pantry and they stayed well, like they didn't go bad that whole time, so, because otherwise I don't know how it would fit it in the fridge. Uh, over here, three pineapples, um, just to have a different fruit on hand. They didn't have red seedless grapes, which I was hoping for, so I picked up a third pineapple because originally I was only gonna pick up two. These, if you don't know, Leave them on your counter for almost a week at least, um, and they will ripen better and taste a lot sweeter. So don't don't eat pineapple right away from the store typically because it needs a little bit more time to ripen. Got some corn. Oh, I need to get this in the instant pot. That was going to be with dinner tonight. 
Okay, so I need to do that. And then, and then I got this huge thing of cottage cheese. This is also part of that egg souffle recipe, and it has like maybe a cup's worth left over from the batch that I'll make with that. So that's almost, you know, mostly being used in a recipe. I got two bags of sweet potatoes. And um, this, oh, the carrots is a six pound bag. These are six and a half pound bags. Um, one bag just didn't seem like enough. And again, making sweet potato brownies and then just for sides, we really like having these. So that's what I got two. I got some of these Campari tomatoes. So those are tasty, we're out of tomatoes. And then I got two two pound containers of blueberries. So a couple of my kids um, will be very happy about that. Over here we have some great tomatoes and then a variety of eggs. They only let you, there was a limit of one type of egg per customer. So I got the or two dozen organic, two dozen free range, and then five dozen just large eggs. So that is that. I still need to empty out these ice chests and show you what's in them. In this top one though, I'm just gonna tell you, there are six bags, like things of fresh, boneless, skinless chicken breasts. I got six of them, there was no limit on them. And they're each around seven-ish pounds. So six of those, they didn't have any fresh chicken thighs nor I don't think that they have frozen ones and I didn't even look at the frozen chicken because I got the fresh, which is what I prefer. Then also in here is pork tenderloin. Okay, I think, or it might be in the bottom one. The bottom one has a lot of frozen stuff, so I really need to get into there soon, but I'm not gonna show you that other than, ta-da, and some hot dogs, okay? So that's all that's in there. My husband, my husband already put in the refrigerator some orange juice and these guacamole things. They didn't have the like holy guacamole little individual size cups, which I was disappointed because I wanted quite a bit of those. So this is what they had, that's what I got. Um, I got two gallons of 2% milk and four gallons of whole milk. Another thing of hot dogs, because some of my, we can really go through a lot in a meal. And then this container of Go-Gurt. And I think that's everything that already got put in the fridge. So I think what I'm going to do with this ice chest is just go through it layer by layer, show you what it is, take it out, put it away, and then I'll show you the next layer. So I got some sandwich meat, this chicken breast sandwich meat, um, a big bag of Italian style meatballs, some turkey burgers, some turkey bacon, and let's see what else I have right here. Some basil pesto, and whatever I don't use right away, I will put in bags or containers and freeze. More of our favorite fish sticks. And what else can I show you right up the top? Uh, some mahi mahi fish as well. So let me go get that in the freezer and I'll show you what's what. Here we go with the next layer. I have a whole lot of half and half. And this is to make that homemade ice cream. Some organic frozen strawberries. This is like a tropical frozen fruit mix. This is what we use. That and the strawberries is what we use in our smoothies. And then that pork tenderloin is down here. It's like two logs, if you will, of pork tenderloin. I don't remember how much it weighs, but I have a recipe for each of those I think I already talked about. Um, yeah, I did. And then these Yasso, Yasso, I don't know how to say it, um, yogurt mint chip, mint chocolate chip, um, Greek yogurt, ice cream type bars. These are awesome. We all love these. So this is going to be a dessert for tonight. I was putting everything in a ray and I realized that I missed these things. This is just melatonin and some um, allergy nasal spray for my husband. Um, I feel like there may have been something else in this area that I didn't talk about and I'm not sure. So sorry if I missed it, but that's that. I realized that my husband had um, taken out the yogurt out of the container. So we got, I think it's a 16 pack of Chobani um, less sugar yogurt. We've been enjoying that one more than the, just the regular one. Okay, I think so far that's all I've forgotten. 
then this is something, don't mind the trash on the ground, that I did pick up also, which is one reason why my cart was so full. Um, we are interested in an air fryer. Um, I knew Costco had some. I may or may not keep this one. I just wanted to have it. I'm going to look up reviews since I didn't take my phone in the store with me. I um, couldn't look up reviews in the store at the time to see what this was. It was between this one and another one. They were $10 difference. This one was the more expensive one. I liked this digital display better. Um, and there was, oh, it came with more accessories too than the other one. So I'm going to look that up online. If it has good reviews, we'll try it out. I also figured it's Costco. I can always return it if we don't like it pretty easily. Easier right now for me than Amazon in a way. And um, otherwise, we'll get one off of Amazon because if it's something we think we'll use. I also picked up these shirts that were on like sale, practically half off. These are some, it's a really nice material that's for my kids. Sorry. Let me just dump that out for you, if it will actually even dump. Ugh, there we go. So they have boy and girl versions. This is the first year I've seen boy ones. Um, and these are the girl ones. They had two different varieties for each and in lots of different sizes. They are getting down on their stash though. So I just picked up each of those. I had actually ordered some online, but they didn't have everything that I wanted in stock and they didn't have... The pricing in store is slightly better than the pricing online unless you buy in mass quantities online and I don't know if they're still doing that sale. You got a bigger discount then. I don't know if any of that made sense, but anyhow, I picked up one of each of those as you see. Another thing that didn't make it into the house was another box of diapers for my three and a half month old. I wish I had bought so many of these when they were on sale back in February. Um, but I didn't realize my daughter was going to go through size 1 diapers for so long. I don't think any of my other kids have gone through this size diaper for as long as she has. So, got that. There's all these things that are in our garage. Again, don't mind all the dirt and everything um, that my husband just automatically put away for me that I forgot to show you because they were already put away. But this case of sparkling water. I really like these. I drink them a ton in my pregnancy. If you've watched any of my pregnancy update videos and almost every day I'll drink one now because I it's like a fun treat for me and it's just water. And then I also got some bread flour. This is what I have left of all-purpose flour. I would have picked up another one of these if um, they had had them in stock but they didn't. All they had was bread flour. I was interested in bread flour. Um, I've never used it before, but I want to be making more homemade bread just to have with meals. And so I was going to get this anyway, so I'm glad they had that. But I would have liked another one of those as well. So these are 25 pound bags. Don't mind the washing machine running, but I found two more items that I forgot to show you. Um, a pack of two things of vinegar. And then I also got one more of our laundry detergent. And another thing I found while I was putting things away, this bunch of balloons. I've gotten these for the last, I get like one pack each year for the last three years. And only last year I'd seen it on coupon once. It wasn't on coupon, but I bought it anyways. They're like $20 for this thing. They're so awesome again. Washing machine going. New load though. Um, and my daughter's who, I have a little, let me try this again. My daughter's birthday is the end of June, and if we are unable to go to the beach or a water park like she was really hoping we could, which I doubt we will be able to, anyhow, she asked for a water balloon fight on our trampoline. So I wanted to make sure I had plenty of these picked up. I do, I, I wasn't sure how many I still had left from last year, and I do have almost a whole pack. I don't know if you can see that other side is completely filled. Um, so we have plenty to last just not only for her birthday but the rest of the summer so that was another item i got and you guessed it i found more <laughs> this was already put away in the pantry um my husband was just very efficient yesterday when he had the the car so i have two bags of the late july tortilla chips the majority of us in our family like these um and then another bag of pirate's booty all right and here is aldi i am so tired guys I'm cooking dinner at the same time, putting groceries away, and my baby is crying because she just woke up from her very short nap. So, let me go through this as quickly as possible. 
get the cold stuff put away and I'm going to deal with the rest tomorrow, I think. Okay, so I got two things of napkins. This is something that I could not find at Costco, so I just picked these up there because we're getting lower on those. Uh, these cereals sounded interesting. Sometimes I eat cereal as a snack and on weekends um, my husband will eat cereal or if he gets hungry too. And they had these Kellogg Special K fruit and yogurt and blueberry and lemon clusters. I've had both of these before, gotten them at Walmart and they had them there and I don't know if it was a better price or not but since I'm not going to Walmart for a while and that cereal was on my list, that was a good find for me. I got these artisan flatbread um, to make pizza out of. There are two in each one, and I got looks like three of them. Um, this was instead of I wanted to get Bulbuli pizza kits at Costco, and they didn't have them. So this is my alternative to that. The only downside is it doesn't come with pre-made sauce. I'm gonna be making sauce anyways. It just would have delayed me having to make them. Then I got this garlic non flatbread. I've never tried it before. Um, I do have chicken tikka. How do you say it? Tikka chicken masala chicken. My memory card just filled up, and I only have a couple minutes left on this memory card, and I just don't want to transfer files, so I'm going to try to go through this very fast. Anyhow, chicken tikka masala. Having that when it's non bread with it. These fun little Easter candies that they had half out. They were originally $2 and they're 99 cents. I got these for the kids for Easter and they love them so I picked up four little baggies of them. One more bag of sharp cheddar, bleh, sharp cheddar shredded cheese just to fill out our stock. They had a small box of corn dogs. Not all my kids like corn dogs but I thought some of them do and we haven't had them in a long time and since it was so small I thought that could easily fit in the freezer and be a nice lunch for some of them. All right got three um, pint size, I believe, uh, yes, pint size containers of heavy whipping cream. We have been loving this with fresh strawberries, like those strawberries I sh think I either showed you in this video or in the preparing to do this shopping trip video, I can't remember. Anyhow, we have a lot of fresh strawberries, gonna use it for that. One container of just the pre-made whipped cream, this gets used a lot on pancakes. One container of, um, pulp-free orange juice just to round out what I got at Costco. Two containers of plain Greek yogurt and two of honey vanilla yogurt. Um, my kids like this. They didn't have this at Costco which I was sad about so I got that there. It's tortillas. These are huge bags of tortillas um, just to have on hand for taco nights. We do soft tacos and then also for that enchiladas I'm making and then one of my kids likes taco hard taco shells like this just got some more deli rolls for sandwiches for lunches I got these great northern beans um, I didn't couldn't remember if I had enough for the chicken and white bean enchilada recipe I realized I didn't double check on that so I just picked those up to make sure I had enough on hand one container of vinegar I didn't show you. I did get a box of vinegar which comes with two of these from Costco. They have a limit on one and I use it in our laundry so I just want to make sure I had enough. Um, then this little guy of crunchy peanut butter. I prefer crunchy peanut butter so I like to have something on hand for me when I get a craving for it. Some quick oats um, that we use a lot for breakfast for some of my kids. Four more grapefruits just some frozen veggies to have on hand, like I said, from the Steer Brother one, so a California medley, the kids seem to enjoy that, and then some broccoli, these little mini cucumbers, I got one bag of that, I got, I think, 10 avocados, these were only 31 cents each, <sighs> and they had so many of them, I wish I hadn't bought them at Costco at all, I, you just don't know, you don't know, and if you don't get them, then you're not going to have them at the next store, you know how that goes, so... We have avocados for days, and if you haven't seen my videos before, and you're like, well, wow, Sarah, that's a ton of avocados, they're going to go bad, because they're all going to go ripe at the same time. Hi, Hi, baby. Put them in the fridge once they're ripe, and they will last in the fridge forever, like for so long, many, many weeks. Um, it's rare that I have ones that are not good in the fridge that are ripe. Okay, my card is almost out. Got some unsweetened sweetened almond milk. I'm using these for making pancakes um, instead of milk. Some sugar, some Hi. salad dressings. These I thought would be good with our ice cream sundae and some chocolates and I think I made it. Everything is in the refrigerator and freezer so I thought I would show you 
how it turned out. Uh, there is a teeny bit of room up here. Um, I shouldn't say everything, and you'll see what I mean in a minute, but <laughs> almost all available space has been taken. This is completely full of eggs. That's the rest of the eggs that wouldn't fit in there. Those are some leftover pancakes I made. Um, filled with milk and yogurt back there. Um, like I said, eggs in there. This is where pretty much all of the meat got put, um, including the pork is here. All the chicken fit here. Um, so once I get to this in the next couple days, I, I call it processing the chicken. I go through all this, cut it up, and put it in Ziploc bags and put marinades on them if they need it for the recipe they're intended for, and then get them in the freezer. Here's this drawer. It's pretty full. It's heavy. Oh my goodness. It's not totally. Like, and this one has a little bit of room. These are some leftover oranges that weren't eaten yesterday for lunch. And there's leftover corn from last night. I did get it in the Instant Pot. Did I already say this is the next morning? It's the next morning. Um, I just couldn't do more last night. Okay, so that's that. This is what we had remaining from Aldi. Everything else is what I got yesterday. It was, that's basically stayed the same. This is where all this has gone. All those sausages, and I wish I had bought these at Aldi. I didn't know they carried stuff like that, and they were so much cheaper there. <sighs> Live and learn. I'm learning with Aldi. It's still relatively new to, new to me. Um, so up here we have a little bit of space, and then down there is space, which is great because, and I just, just threw some things in here last night. I was just so tired I just needed to get stuff in the refrigerator and freezer um so some of this is going to go somewhere else but this shelf is where all that chicken once it's cut up put in baggies it's going to go on this shelf frozen there so I may have to move some things around um that big bag of meatballs and then a lot of this was already here if you remember um we got into this last night frozen fruit made it here a little bit of hot dog back there the frozen orange juice is back there and then this is where the veggies are and there's still room in here so i'm gonna throw some stuff down there the rest of the hot dogs that are frozen this is the same and then i have a little bit of space there so i have room to reorganize i just haven't done it yet and then I thought I'd just show you the aftermath of everything. So the car is almost put back together. I just have to get these booster seats. I don't know if you can see them, it's so dark. Um, these booster seats put back and then that seat put back there. But let's, let's head back into the house now. And I'm gonna show you what the after effects of that shopping trip was. I still have things to put away. There are ice chests. Oh, I didn't even show you. I didn't even show you. This bottom ice chest, I was gonna tell you, is filled with produce and cheese, with some of my ice blocks still. I would um, open it for you right now, but I have a baby in one arm and the camera in the other, so that's not gonna happen. But that is that was my plan. Whatever wouldn't fit into the refrigerator and could be in an ice chest for a while, for a few days, that's what I had planned on doing. This top one is empty, but I may put bread in there to try to keep it cooler so it doesn't start molding any quicker. Uh, I cleaned that out yesterday because that's what had all the raw chicken in it. Um, so once that chicken gets taken out of the refrigerator, put in the freezer, then this stuff can um, go into the refrigerator. Uh, let's see. So this is, I still have the strawberries to deal with. This is last night from the corn. There was a little bit of noodles left over. I didn't even bother saving that. Uh, some of this is breakfast this morning. And then the dishes, bottles. Like, this is not how I like to leave my kitchen at night, but I was so tired and just sore. I couldn't believe how sore my body was. But there's just like, there's stuff everywhere. There's my pile of bread down there and all of this, my pile of bananas. I have to figure out what to do or not figure out, but I just need to put it all away. And then all of this down there and the rest of my house is a mess too. But uh, yeah, I just thought I'd show you the aftermath of being out all day, coming home late, and having to deal with a lot of stuff. It is many hours later, um, but the kitchen, I just wanted to show you, and it looks a lot better. It's not perfect, but it looks a ton better. There's my pile of produce. <laughs> and then I'm leaving the Instant Pot stuff out because that's gonna 
be making dinner tonight. I got all those strawberries going through. So they're all chopped up and everything. So that's good because otherwise they would have just kept molding and stuff, which would not have been good. Only one thing in there that I just used so it didn't make it in the dishwasher that's now running, but all of that is cleared off. Dishwasher's running. And then the table is gone. So I didn't get to show you earlier, but this is the produce that I have in here and cheese. And so I'm actually gonna use some of this right now to make that egg souffle I was talking about. I ended up putting the oranges, most of the oranges, that's what couldn't fit, and the lemons in the ice chest, and then all sandwich bread fit in there, and then like miscellaneous bread, hamburger buns, that non bread, and the flatbread pizza um, bread thing all fit in there. So that's just gonna hang out here until I can move it other places once space frees up. Freeze up. It's almost noon on Friday morning now, and I have just put the baby down for a nap and set up my station to be able to process this 40 some odd pounds of chicken to start getting that um, all ready for meals and into the freezer. So if it's something, um, if you'd like to know like what I'm doing with all this chicken and uh, like the meals I'm actually preparing for it, I decided I'm gonna come out with like weekly videos on what we ate that week for dinner and I will show you in those videos um, the marinades if I'm using one with the chicken and how I'm preparing each of them just to maybe hopefully give you guys some ideas on meals that you could do as well. So I have everything set up behind me and I'm ready to get going. It's going to take me a few hours to get through all this but I have the cleaned off chicken all lined up over here, my tools, what I do with it is I um, cut off any excess fat that there may still be on there and then I slice them in half lengthwise so they're half as thick as they originally were. I will pile them all up into this bowl as much as I can and then I will start weighing them into my pre-written um, on baggies for each of the meals. I do that because the scale will turn on and off. Um, throughout if I take too long and instead of having to keep push the button and everything especially if I'm halfway f have a bag filled up I'd rather be able to fill bags quickly all at the same time that's just what I like to do anyhow um I I weigh everything that's how I know exactly how much chicken I needed to buy and I know how long it'll last us um I typically do enough and wait to do at least one dinner It'll possibly turn into a second, if not a full second, it'll be a partial of a leftover night, and then also it can possibly be for um, leftovers for lunch. So that's kind of what I do, and for us, for our family of six people eating out of the seven, that's about 2.6, 2.7 pounds of chicken that ends up in one of these bags. So like I said, I have all the bags. There are a few meals that I want extra chicken though for more than that, so like these two I have for I want them to be more than three pounds each because it's a meal that my kids really, really like. And the last time we ate it, I thought we'd have leftovers and we had like that much leftovers of it. So I want more of that. Same with this one. This one takes a little more effort to make. And so I'm doing almost, I want at least four pounds in here. Um, but otherwise everything else is that 2.6, 2.7. I have this tray out to, once the chicken is in the bags, it'll go on here just so it doesn't like sink through the grate here on my oven. I have a place to set it. I have my Instant Pot out here because I am going to be cooking some chicken right away for the enchiladas that I'm making. So I will just put some raw chicken straight in there and then cook it once I get my counter space back and I can put my Instant Pot back up. So that is what I am working on right now. And it, like I said, it's just before noon. So we'll see how long this takes and hopefully the baby sleeps for the whole time. It's about 2.30 now. Um, I have not been doing this the whole time. I didn't even get started until about 12.10, I'd say. And then about 10 minutes later, my daughter woke up from her nap and she was not a happy camper. I got to a stopping point, my, some, two of my girls, my oldest girls, were really trying hard to help calm her down and everything, which I really appreciated, but anything they did just wasn't working, so Mama had to step in there. So I got to a stopping point with this, I got about halfway through all the chicken, and took about 30 minutes to get her back down for a nap, and she is 
asleep <laughs> and still sleeping so that's wonderful um but so that was like a half hour ish and then I stopped about 210 with what I had prepped as far as the bags go but I actually had like an entire package of chicken extra than what I had been planning for when it was all a guesstimate really with how um much I needed and I was not expecting getting all fresh chicken at Costco as you guys saw I was expecting some frozen so I just roughly estimated how much I needed I, I aired on the side of more plus I try to consider there's water weight in there and I'm also trimming some stuff off of them so um, I guesstimated a bit much which is fine because since I already have all this stuff out I'd rather prep more chicken now than and it pushes it off later when I actually have to buy more and do this again so I got I'm gonna cook some more chicken in the instant pot so I have probably four and a quarter pounds in the chicken of chicken in the instant pot and I'll just cook that and then split it between two meals one is gonna be for enchiladas now and another is gonna be for a mushroom soup and then I came up with two other it took me a little bit to um, come up with figure out two other meals uh, and figure out what I wanted to do if I had the ingredients on hand which I have most of the ingredients on hand for those but since I am gonna be doing another shopping trip um, or a grocery pickup or something in the next three ish weeks I'm just gonna add those ingredients to that shopping trip and hopefully the stores will have them I will also store them as like in the back bottommost layer in my freezer so they're the, like the last things that I have to get to so in case I can't get those ingredients this time around maybe by the next time we do a small grocery run I'll be able to get them then it's ironic though like one of the ingredients was sun-dried tomatoes and I saw those at Aldi um, when I was shopping and I was like oh maybe I should pick those up and I was like no we don't ever use them and now I'm gonna use them for recipe but whatever anyhow I will show you what I have going on here uh, and then yeah oh there's a couple tips I wanted to tell you um, as I was cutting I remembered I cut them in half because there's a few reasons one they're gonna thaw out a lot faster two if you have a marinade there's more surface area for the marinade to get in contact with therefore more flavor and three if I am grilling the chicken or cooking in general they're gonna cook a lot faster so that's why I personally cut them in half I also like I said I just prefer to get a big pile of chicken and then start putting them in bags another reason I do that too is because if it's something that's gonna go on the grill versus the instant pot or just on the stove I want more uniform pieces like as far as thickness goes and I am not a perfect person with cutting chicken by any means so sometimes the the halves are very skewed and not exactly even so I try to get ones that are kind of more the same consistency if you will for the bags that I know are going to be grilled chicken pieces versus things that are just going to throw in the instant pot or the stove or even the oven for that matter to a degree can just be like the not so nice pieces <laughs> um yeah so that's I just wanted to mention that that that's one reason why I do it this way too um okay let me show you what I have I actually don't have that many marinades to make which I'm kind of thankful for and I need to clean all of this up and then get the instant pot going so like I said this is not all the chicken this is just what I have I just know that that is a marinade so if I can I may just end up throwing all this in the fridge and then getting back to the marinades in a little bit because like I said it's after 2 30 I haven't even eaten yet for the day which I'm not like starving but I would like to eat something so this is what I have going on here that's the last bag that's all the chicken in the instant pot and everything that I just need to sanitize now so that's what I'm going to work on next and oh let me show you in the fridge It's a little dark but that's what we have going on in the fridge so that's everything in there I'm just gonna shove bags in there until I can get to the marinades and then get the, everything in the freezer it's Saturday I did get all the chicken in here last night I just didn't film it for you because it got pretty late um, but my freezer is stocked full it is all in there uh, so that shelf obviously hasn't changed much nor down there too much it did all fit here this is the cooked chicken and it ended up making an extra amount of cooked chicken this is some 
leftover homemade ice cream we made last night and neighbor got um, some half and half from their church that was expiring and they had a ton of it and asked if we wanted some and that's the recipe I had. So you'll see this in the, not me making it, but you'll see some of it um, in my what we ate for dinner weekly thing. Um, I also, no, I guess I didn't post a picture on Instagram. I thought I did. Anyhow, back there, I don't know if you can see, back there it's in two stacks, the chicken, the, like non-cooked, the raw chicken. In there. I don't know, it's still pretty dark. But it's just... all piled up there. I put a paper towel in between each one just helps them not just stick to each other and get and pull them I'm able to pull them apart from each other easier. Um, I know people say that you should be freezing them individually and then stacking them. I have never done that and I have never had a problem with it. I just stack them all up let them freeze like a big block like that and sometimes it's hard to get them apart from each other but um, the paper towel seems to help at least but I've never had a problem with them not freezing and staying good. So that's where it all ended up. And then you'd think I'd have a bunch of room in my refrigerator, but I was able to fit the rest of the produce that was in that one ice chest. All of it is now in the refrigerator. So there's nothing in that one ice chest. The second one still has oranges and lemons in it. But otherwise I got everything in here and we've gone, we got finished off that gallon of milk that was over here. So got a little bit extra room there and we're doing pretty good on space now. I realized I had never actually even shown you my pantry and show you that it's fairly stocked with a bunch of staples, um, which is why you didn't see it in the grocery hauls, but you will see it in my what I'm cooking each week for dinner video um, because I do have a number of items on hand still that I did not need to purchase and some of these are the things that I did purchase. So just wanted to give you a glimpse of that. I also have storage out in the garage with excess items as well. Well, hello, hello. It is actually now Sunday the 26th, so a number of days later. Um, although I did just see you as I was prepping all of that meat, if I included it in this video, if it didn't get too long. Um, I'm pretty sure I did. And um, I have a little helper visitor with me here. So if you hear baby cooing or noises or anything along that nature, got a little, little buddy here. Okay, so there isn't a big reason why it's taking me this long to film this portion other than I just haven't had the time. But what I wanted to share with you right now is my thoughts after having gone through all of that with this mega monthly grocery shopping trip I wanted to share if I thought it was worth it, if I thought um, it's something feasible that I could maintain month after month for however long this, you know, shelter in place is in place. Um, or if I need to adjust stuff or just completely throw it out because um, it just wasn't, it wasn't worth it. So the day that I did all the shopping, and I kind of expressed this to you guys, I believe, towards the end there, I was exhausted. So incredibly tired. And not just exhausted, but my body physically ached. My back was hurting, my feet were hurting. I was tired, I was thirsty, I was probably dehydrated because I got a really bad headache that night, and that's a very common thing to happen to me when I am dehydrated. I also didn't want to drink because I didn't want to have to go to the bathroom. Um, it was just a really long day. It would have helped if I could have gotten out of the house sooner, but just with how things were going at the house, uh, it, it wasn't really possible with my baby and my husband's work schedule. Um, I, I left when I could. Uh, things definitely took a lot longer. Having to clean everything off, that just really extended every single grocery trip. Um, and, but I am glad I did it at the car instead of waiting till I got home. Cause then when I got home, um, besides the fact that I was able to film it for you guys right away, even if I wasn't filming it for you, I would have been able to put it away immediately. And that is kind of nice not having to then clean it off at home and then 
put it away and that way I know also whatever went into my car was clean so I wouldn't change that I would definitely still clean up my car even if I get strange looks from people um <laughs> while I'm doing it which I'm sure I did I do think that was definitely worth it um I think it was a little unrealistic to try to do that mega of a grocery shopping haul all in one day. Even though my intentions were good, the reason behind it was good, just trying to stay out of stores more, I don't think it's something that I can logistically maintain month after month, even um, every five or six weeks, which is kind of what I'm hoping uh, at least going to Costco is going to turn into because of the extra meat that I ended up getting. Even though I had it planned out, I was kind of thrown off by the fact that I was actually able to get so much fresh chicken and I didn't have to rely on frozen chicken. And so I had to quickly, you know, calculate in my head instead of on a phone calculator, since I didn't have my phone with me, um, how much chicken I needed. And I always try to do a little bit extra for, you know, that cutoff, the, the stuff that I'm cutting off and then the water weight and stuff like that. So I knew I was getting a little bit more than what I needed, but I didn't really an entire package more than what I needed. So um, that may let us last longer by a week or so than what I had originally um, planned on. So that that part is good. Uh, it was it was just such a major trip. Having such heavy carts, I think, was part of the reason why I was so sore. Having to do two, two carts. At Costco even though I did as much as I could in a single cart I left it somewhere kind of near um, where the registers were and hoped that no one would touch it or put it away and then I grabbed a second cart and just started up where I had left off and finished off my trip so I at least wasn't pushing two carts around the entire store which I was afraid of having to do and then I did get help from um, Costco employees who one of them helped me bring it to the door where they check your receipt and then they called for someone who collects the carts to bring my second cart out to my car. They even offered to help me load it into my car but I declined that because I knew I wanted to clean it right then. Um, so it was good in the sense that I got so much and I know we aren't going to need to go back there for a while. We shouldn't need to. I should be able to get things at other grocery stores um, in the meantime if we needed to. I I just really don't think logistically and physically and emotionally I can go to, I can do a huge Costco trip like that in addition to other smaller stores on the same day. I just don't think that that part of it is actually feasible. I think what I need to do is just do Costco, a big trip like that on one day call it good and then um, pick up other stuff either the following day or wait a week or two and then go out to other stores um, doing everything together with such a huge Costco trip just that that was way too much so that's what I know for sure that I need to adjust going forward here um I'm trying to think what else oh it just reminded me the whole thing of when I used to do this a long time ago, um, the monthly grocery shopping and how exhausting it would be. And I think that's a big reason why I stopped doing it was because it was just, it's a lot in one day. I mean, I, I, once it was over with the following day, I was still sore, but I was thankful I had all the stuff in the house and that I had found places for it all. And I was really thankful that I had that much meat to process, as I call it, in one go and get that all in my freezer. So I know I have a good stockpile of food in there for us that's ready to be cooked. And that is always great. And I, I will do that as long as I can, as long as the supplies are there and I'm able to get that much meat in one pair, one like one shopping trip. I will do that because that part, I love streamlining that. Uh, that's definitely worth it to me. I think for the next month, my plan is I want to have um, a menu plan in place sooner than later, like pretty soon here for another four to five weeks. And then 
if I have that in place and I know the ingredients that I'm going to need for that, if I can buy any of those ingredients that I need to at other stores, I'm just going to add those into my smaller, smaller trips throughout this coming month of May. And that way I know I have them on hand for when I do another big trip at Costco so that when I get more meat, I know I already have the ingredients for whatever um, recipe it is on hand and I don't need to go to another store to get those ingredients. Does that make sense? So I'm going to buy all the ingredients for like marinades and things like that ahead of time in this upcoming month and just have those on hand. I don't know if I need to put them in a, another spot so I know they're not available for us now and then when I get meat again uh, hopefully in six weeks from Costco I know I have all the ingredients on hand for those recipes and I can make do all my meat meal prep at that time right after I go to Costco and I don't have to go to any other store. So I hope that kind of made sense how I said that. I think that's how I'm going to adjust it for the future and it just means that I get to go back to menu planning and shopping list writing a lot sooner than I thought I was going to. So yeah, it was, I'm glad I did it. I'm glad I went through the experience to see if it was possible for us, for me, at this stage in our family's life. Hey, you just got fed. You just got fed. You should be a-okay. Yeah, you should be just fine. Um, and now all I have to do is just fine tune it, tweak it, make adjustments as needed. And yeah, um, I definitely, like, <laughs> that day I told my husband, I'm like, this is, I'm never doing this again. Never. <laughs> I was in so much pain and so tired and so ready to be done with the day. But uh, now a few days, a few days past it, I definitely can see some of the value that came out of it. And I'm really glad that again, that I did it and now I can make adjustments and kind of tweak things going forward. Another thing that I don't ever want to have to do again is all of that work for the car, getting the car ready. I think if I do again, another big grocery, uh, Costco grocery haul like this, I would at least need to take out, um, those back booster seats and fold those back seats down again but not take out that extra seat on the side there because I don't think I would take ice chests with me and I needed the space for the ice chest because I mean, I had I had my car packed. Um, it was definitely full by the end of Costco and Aldi. Um, I just bought so much. Again, I had an air fryer, which has a huge box and a box of diapers, which I don't think I'll need to buy. Well, I definitely won't be buying an air fryer again, and I shouldn't need another box of diapers because I have the next sizes already here from when I purchased them on coupon back in February. So that'll help give some space. And taking out the boosters and putting those back seats down, not a big deal. And since we are not going anywhere <laughs> right now, the car should stay relatively clean, right? So I shouldn't have to go through all of that. Um, let's see, what else did I do? Having the blocks of ice with the ice chest just for while we were at home was good because I did utilize that one large ice chest for a couple of days until I had room in the fridge. So that was, that was good thinking on my part. And I can't really think of anything else. I'm kind of drawing a blank right now. So hopefully I covered everything and didn't ramble too much for you, but I did want to come on and kind of get a, give you a debriefing of the whole experience. If you made it through this far into the video, um, just to let you know what my thoughts were, my final thoughts on, on it all and whether it was worth it or not. I definitely think it was worth it to a point and that's why I need to make adjustments. Um, and I need to adjust my shopping list for when I finally get to Trader Joe's and do that Walmart grocery pickup. Oh, one thing, going into the stores, I think this was part of the reason why it was kind of overwhelming to me too, is that whether I realized it or not, I had much more like stress just in my body while shopping because I didn't want to touch anything that I wasn't absolutely going to be purchasing. I was like, don't touch it, don't touch it. Make sure you clean your hands well, sanitize them after touching everything. Are you touching too many things? Are you far enough away from people? Why aren't people getting further away from me? Like, like all these things are going through your head and that's not normal 
for how we used to shop. There's just so many more things just playing on loop, whether you realize it or not, subconsciously in your head while you're doing this because you just wanna be careful and you're doing what you can and you're just hoping you're doing enough. So I think that also added to it is just, I was just trying so hard to do so many things at once while also trying to find the items I was hoping to be able to find and then when you can't find the items that you were hoping to find, like how can you make it work without it or can you maybe find it at another store or um, can you find a substitute that would work just as well? So you're having a lot of stuff going on in your head that isn't our normal, that's for sure. So I think that also added to just just this feeling, this weighed down feeling, this exhaustion. It wasn't just physical, it was also definitely a mental thing. All right, I think that's gonna be it for this debriefing. I hope you enjoy, <laughs> enjoyed, I hope you enjoyed um, this very long video, but this uh, going through the experience with me, um, especially if you've watched all the videos leading up to this one. If not, I will put a playlist down below if you're in case you're interested in that Aldi haul that I referenced and that prepping day video that I also, I believe, have referenced. Um, and then today, kind of shopping with me, not in the stores, but you know, hearing my thoughts in the car before and after each trip and then seeing the hauls and seeing what I did with the food. And then this, speaking of what I did with the food, the food, <laughs> The food, I think I already mentioned this in this video multiple times, but if you wanna see how I actually cook the food that we got, I am planning this series of what we had for dinners at least coming out. So I'll probably have a video each week for week by week what how I used up the food, at least in our dinners. So you can stay tuned for that as well. If you'd like to subscribe so you don't miss out on those videos, please hit that subscribe button down below. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. That lets me know that this is content you guys like. It also helps out my channel by, you know, Google, no, YouTube. YouTube likes it when you give it thumbs up. I've heard even if you give it a thumbs down, it likes that too. Oh, and in the comments down below, let me know if you have attempted anything like this, if you would ever attempt anything like this, and if you have any good tips. So leave that in the comments down below. And otherwise, I will see you in my next video next week. Bye.